May 24th, the Feast of Our Lady, Help of the Christians. The invocation, Help of the Christians, is very old, having been included in the Litany of Loreto by Pope Pius V in 1571 as a token of gratitude to the Most Holy Virgin. After having recourse to the Most Holy Rosary, the Pope learned of the Christendom's victory over the Muslim forces in the famous Battle of Lepanto one amazing fact of that battle based on catholic chronicles of the time they do not mention an important fact found in moslem sources the later report that at a certain moment during the battle when the catholic forces were being defeated the turkish fleet saw a majestic and terrible lady in the sky she was looking at them with such a menacing gaze that they could not bear it lost their courage and fled this intercession of Our Lady is attributed to two men who were praying to her. There was Don Juan of Austria, the commander of the Catholic Armada, and in Rome there was St. Pius V. When Our Lady intervened, she appeared in the sky to threaten the enemy, and the Mohammedan navy fled. But the Catholic warriors did not see her. She did not appear to them. The Catholics had the merit of practicing a blind confidence, a pure act of faith. Only when the enemy later reported the miracle did they realize that she had helped them in the worst hour. In the middle of work in Rome one day, probably moved by a supernatural inspiration, Pope Pius V went to a window to pray the rosary. As he prayed, he received the revelation that Don Juan of Austria had won the battle. The news of the papal revelation spread throughout Rome and the people began to celebrate some may have doubted the revelation and asked is it true then in a few days a messenger arrived and gave the official report this was the great joy of the victory of lepanto however this was not the last intervention of our lady under her glorious title our lady help of the christians several centuries later she came to the aid of another holy father this time pope pius the seventh during five years of captivity pius the seventh appealed continuously to our lady under the invocation of help of the christians from eighteen o nine to eighteen twelve the pontiff was imprisoned in the italian city of savona he made a vow to crown an image of the mother of mercy existing there should he be granted his freedom in the year 1812 the pope was taken to paris where he remained prisoner and he suffered terrible humiliations inflicted by the french tyrant but in course of time divine providence intervened overturning the good fortune of the despotic ruler napoleon in 1814 weakened by losses suffered on several fronts and pressured by public opinion napoleon permitted his august prisoner to return to rome the pontiff took advantage of the journey home to honor in a special way the mother of god crowning her image under the invocation of queen of all saints hence fulfilling the vow he made when still prisoner in savona he adorned the forehead of the image of the mother of mercy with a golden crown as he passed by that city pope pius the seventh attributed his freedom to the intercession of mary most holy he wanted to show his gratitude by means of establishing a feast day of universal scope dedicated to the beautiful marian invocation our lady help of the christians therefore may twenty fourth became her feast day in thanksgiving for the holy father's happy return to rome our lady help of the christians was made even better known by saint john bosco who consecrated his order of salatian priests to her and in turin beginning in the year eighteen sixty five he began to raise in her honor a vast and magnificent church without ever having a penny in advance always the needed sums of money arrived in time about three-fourths of the gifts offered were presented in thanksgiving for favors obtained through her intercession in one of those cases a certain senator of the kingdom of italy was ill don bosco went to visit him and found him very discouraged and speaking of his imminent death what would you do said don bosco if our lady obtained your cure from god my cure well i would give two thousand francs a month for her church for six months be of good courage said the saint on rising i will see that prayers are said for you three days later baron gatta perfectly cured went to don bosco to make his first payment giving more than he had promised and he did not cease to outdo himself in generosity